Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December the 18th. It's the third week in Advent and week three in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 45, at Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1 through 7. And join me now in singing the first and second verse of On Jordan's Bank. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleanse me every breast from sin, make straight the way for God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. Psalm 45, and please recite it with me. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. You, O king, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh, with your glory and your majesty. And in your majesty ride triumphantly for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and people fall beneath you. O God, your throne is forever and ever. Your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes. Out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies, and on your right stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty. For he is your master, worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to you in many colored robes, and her virgin companions follow her. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into your palace. In place of your ancestors shall be your children, and you will make them rulers in all the earth. I will make your name to be remembered by all generations, and therefore the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the king. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. But there will be no gloom for those who were in anguish. In the former time he brought into contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the latter time he will make glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee, of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, and those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. 
For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born to us, a son is given. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And his authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. And he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. And the zeal of Yahweh of hosts will do this. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Most Holy Jesus, Brother and Savior, we acknowledge you as our Sovereign, and to you our praise is due. Accept these our humble prayers, which we offer in thanksgiving for your majesty and glory. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.